Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Anytime that you are scheduling an appointment, event, meeting, or even a task for yourself or someone else, you will have the option of setting a pattern of recurrence for the selected item. To set recurrence, simply click the recurrence button that appears in the options button group on the tab that shows the item's type within the ribbon of the item window. Doing this will launch the recurrence dialog box. Here you can set the time for the item and its recurrence pattern. In the recurrence pattern section, select the pattern of recurrence, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. In the area to the right of those option buttons, you then specify the pattern for the selected recurrence. In the range of recurrence section, you then set the start date of the recurrence pattern and then set the end date, if you have one. When you are finished scheduling the recurrence of the item, click the OK button. After a recurring item has passed, you will want to delete it from your calendar. However, you will probably not want to delete all future instances of the item. Sometimes there will be a recurring item that will no longer occur in the future. In this case, you will want to delete all of the future instances of that item. To delete a recurring item, you need to open your calendar and select the occurrence of the recurring item that you want to delete. Then press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard and you will see a pop-up message box with two options, Delete this occurrence or Delete the series. Select the option Delete this occurrence to delete just the selected occurrence or select the option Delete the series to delete this occurrence and all future occurrences. After selecting your option button, click the OK button when you are done. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.